everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, a channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about Air Command on your Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Now Air Command is this menu right up over here that usually sometimes pops up when you pull out the S Pen. You are able to change what happens when you pull the S Pen out, but then you'll also see this little floating icon here. Now the other thing you can also do is hover the S Pen over the screen and where you see that little dot that's following, that means that your S Pen is connected with the screen even though you're not touching it. And then when you hit the S Pen button, your Air Command pops up. Now I'm going to show you a few tricks with this. One of the cool things is that you are able to move these icons around without going inside of settings. So let's say that on the bottom you have this one over here that's called coloring. If there's one of these you'd like to move around, you can simply press and hold, move it up. And you'd also be able to remove it from the screen if that's something that you don't want to use. Now on the bottom of this entire list, you also have add shortcuts. So one of the ways you're able to get inside of your settings is by hovering the S Pen over the screen hitting the S Pen button, and then tapping on Settings. So that just gets you into the S Pen settings. Then as you scroll down, this is where you see Air Command. So this is where you can turn on or off that floating icon. I highly suggest just keeping this one on. Uh, I am one of those people that when I do pull out the S Pen, it does nothing. Uh, sometimes I pull the S Pen out just to use the phone. I don't even really need to write notes or go inside of Air Command. So that's where I put this one as nothing. But having this floating icon does actually seem to help out a little bit. And then here's another way you can take a look at all of your shortcuts and then all the ones that you're able to choose. So any application that you download from the Play Store and Samsung Galaxy App Store, they should all show up on this entire list. They're just little shortcuts of getting inside of an application. Now on the top, this is where all of your S Pen features are. So let's say that maybe you wanted to add in pen up, press and hold, drag and drop, or if you wanted to add in right on calendar. Now you are able to just simply tap it. If you drag and drop, you're just able to place it exactly where you want it to go. If we take out that calculator right on calendar, you'd see that it's right there and added. Now you can only have 10 shortcuts on the side. So if there's any of these that you don't want to use, simply just get rid of it and you can find an empty spot right there. So let's move back a screen. Right below that was the floating icon that we talked about from before. This one is open air command with S Pen button. So as I showed from before, when you hover the S Pen over the screen, when you hit the S Pen button, you're able to pull it up. This is where you can toggle that on or off. Down here for the removal of the S Pen, do you want it to open air command, create a note or do nothing? That one is all simply up to you. And then the one right below that is that pen proximity alert. This is just letting you know that maybe if you set your S Pen down and it's not inserted, the software and hardware does not pick it up. If you rattle your phone, shake your phone, if it uh, kind of sits in your pocket, it's going to give you a little bit of a alert, letting you know that you don't have your S Pen inserted. Uh, just a quick way that you're able to walk right back so you don't lose the S Pen. But that's really everything I wanted to cover with the Air Command. The cool thing is that once you open this up, give any of these a tap, and then now you've gone inside of that shortcut. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.